Well, the snowstorm in the midsection of the nation from this weekend continues today across the Great Lakes region. In fact, we do have blizzard warnings in place for northern Illinois, even into southern Wisconsin. This snow is going to be developing in the northeast uh, at least through the uh, next 24 to 36 hours. And then we're going to have some severe potential on the southern side of this in Florida. So as we take you to DeKalb in Illinois, we have some ice on the lens of the camera. It looks pretty snow as we start off this Monday. And as I mentioned, some blizzard warnings for northern Illinois and even southeastern Wisconsin. Winds here gusting to 40 plus miles per hour, creating near whiteout conditions. Anybody traveling in these areas today having some big issues. We continue the winter weather headlines through the Great Lakes. And again, total amounts of snow approaching 6 to 12 inches in the heaviest from, again, uh, the midsection of the nation. Then we're going to be dealing with upwards of maybe 6 to 15 inches of snow across parts of the northern New England states as the storm system wraps up over the next 36 hours within these areas. Is. On the southern side of it, we're dealing with pretty heavy rain from Boston, the Cape Town to New York City and Long Island, and looking at precipitation values here upwards of an inch or more. So definitely wet with some flash flood possibilities there through the first half of the day and overnight. And then there is your severe threat down near Tampa, Fort Myers, south of Jackson, Jacksonville rather. We do expect to see some heavier downpours with that. Temperatures again into the southeast will be warm, but very chilly in the midsection of the nation once again.